Well, uh, it's a very regular thing. Uh, we get emails, we get uh, phone calls uh, asking us because people know that we are concerned with the, the environment around us. And Jib Doc has always been a, a, a point of contention. Uh, basically, uh, the, 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 the problems in the past have been uh, spray over, over, over catch uh, the area. Uh, and uh, nowadays, particularly n noise pollution, uh, the, the quantity, the amount of noise coming from uh, this area is considerable. And uh, maybe during the day when people are out working, it's maybe less relevant, although people are in shift work and are at home resting. But, uh, and obviously people have families and, uh, and uh, the, the young ones need to rest as well. So, so it is relevant throughout the day as well. But the main problem is at night uh, that the activity continues generally uh, uh, into the night and makes life at home uh, for these residents very difficult. So if Lloyd and Mabet come back confirming that they've carried out the core functionalities for the dockyard, uh, what's the next step for the ESG? Well, we would have to look at what that response is uh, uh, because we cannot understand that if these guidelines have been followed and the, 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 the audit has been carried out efficiently, which I'm sure it has, uh, then uh, uh, we cannot understand how the accreditation has not taken into account this uh, transboundary effect of their activities.